What's up guys, LQ here with the LQ Review. Thank you for joining me here at my YouTube channel. This is where I talk about all the geeky, nerdy stuff that I love to talk about. Movies, video games, comic books, and TV shows. And right now, yeah, I've seen episode one of Deal or No Deal Island. Um, I've already talked about the sneak peek that we got about a month or so ago. And, um, you know, it's time to dive into this first episode. Uh, I, I was a casual fan of deal deal or no deal i've seen a number of the episodes but it wasn't like appointment television for me it wasn't something that i had to watch but what is appointment television for me and what has always been appointment television for me all the way back since 2000 is survivor i love survivor it's one of my favorite shows of all time if not my favorite show of all time and um having obviously having one of the survivor greats uh boss and rob in this show definitely made it appealing to me but also the setting you know a, a, a a survivor type deal or no deal show where they are on an island and a lot of their challenges are island based challenges. Yeah, this is something I'm going to be into. So was it a good first episode? Yeah, yeah, I found it very enjoyable. I it was the first episode was a little over an hour long and I thought it was a lot of fun. Um, obviously, they're kind of setting Rob up as the main character um, because he is probably the most well known that might mean he's going to have an early boot. I don't know, uh, but we'll we'll see how all that plays out. Um, so this episode had the first challenge, getting the the cases out of the mud. Um, definitely kind of a somewhat classic type of survivor challenge. You know, there's no puzzles involved. There's no phases of the challenge involved. It was just a, this is a physical challenge. Get in there and get it done. And uh, some people did really well, other people struggled, um, especially uh, one of the older women. Um, she really struggled, but she ended up actually um, taking, a taking a chance and she ended up doing very well in the challenge. I don't want to get too spoilery just in case people haven't seen it yet, but she ended up doing very well and she ended up being the person who held most of the power. Probably outside of Rob, there's two characters that have stood out to me so far. Uh, one is Claudia, and that's simply because she was a deal or no deal model, but she has already in this first episode shown a savvy for the game, understanding the game of deal or no deal and how to um, navigate it. Uh, the second is Aaron, and Aaron makes sense because he was the one who played the classic game of deal or no deal in this episode, and um, he's a very analytical guy. He's definitely a, a character, and he did some things that kind of humanized himself towards the end of this episode that really made you have some um, emotional connection with him. So, And he's also Rob's number one ally, at least so far. So uh, those are the two characters that stand out. Obviously, Rob is my favorite character. He's the person that made me want to tune into this show. Um, but Claudia and Aaron have definitely both uh, caught my I caught my attention ha and have entertained me. Um, so, so yeah, I like the challenge-based environment. I like the fact that they've incorporated the classic deal or no deal. Um, I like the the cast interactions so far, and I like that there can be a you know a a. a, a, a essence of backstabbery going on here where, where there is the potential to form relationships form alliances and even backstab those in your alliance i think that that's going to make for some good television uh, what i don't like is that one person holds all the power in every episode you know in survivor it's a consensus it's a vote even if that vote is the result of an alliance and somebody being at the wrong end of the numbers it is still a consensus it is a vote and in this game if you lose the classic deal or no deal game, you're gone. If you make a good deal and you get more money than your case is worth, then you have the sole power to choose who leaves. So I'm not sure how I feel about that component of it where one person has all the power to deciding who leaves and who stays. And that's for selfish reasons, you know, I tuned in to watch Rob and eventually someone's going to get make a good deal that just doesn't want to see someone who's had success in reality television um, go far in the game. I mean, I think it's almost inevitable that someone is going to headhunt Rob and get rid of him. Um, 
don't know, maybe not. We'll see. But good, entertaining first episode. Really enjoyed it. I'm in now. You know, I'm in. I'm, I'm going to watch this show. And, um, and yeah, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. We'll see if it continues to be entertaining or if the premise ends up getting stale. I don't know. But so far, I am entertained. And it, um, it, it was fun. So that is my take on episode one of Deal or No Deal Island. Have you seen it? If you have, let me know what you thought of it in the comments below. Are you a Survivor fan? Is that why you're tuning in? Let's have a conversation about it. While you're down there commenting, subscribe to my channel. And until next time, we'll see you guys later.